guys, so before I start my glute workout, I'm gonna go through a little bit of what I like to do to warm up. So the glutes can be tricky. They're not like the bicep to where you can do a bicep curl and your, your bicep's gonna activate. Um, everybody's different and we gotta find what's like, it's called like a sweet spot. So you really gotta get the glutes activated, get them engaged, get them firing in order for them, to, for you to be feeling them during the exercises. Cause you can be doing a barbell glute bridge and actually not be engaging your glutes at all. Okay, so one of the best ways to do that is I like to use bands. I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I like to do to really fire up my glutes, get them activated before I go into my glute exercises. All right, so first one I like to do is we're gonna just do side steps. So if you don't have like a ton of room to, to walk, you can just go back and forth, focus on driving your knees out, make sure that they're not caving in. You wanna have your toes out slightly and keep tension in the band. You never wanna bring your legs together to where you lose that tension. So we're staying wide and just going a little bit wider, driving those knees out. I'm in a slight squat, pushing my hips back to get those glutes engaged, tapping my toe back and forth. And we're gonna do 20, four of these, three rounds. All right, so for this next one, this is what I like to call in my workouts the appetizer, basically. So this is a warm up still, but it's also a really good burner. Um, this is good to do either before the workout or after. Today I'm gonna do it before, just to really get my glutes fired up before I go ahead and start the exercise. So. What we are doing is we are doing a pyramid, building up from one rep all the way to 20. And it's with glute, 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 glute ridges and then banded abductions. Okay, so there's no weight necessary. It's just gonna be body weight and the band. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come back. You're gonna drive your knees out, keep tension in that band. We're gonna do one glute bridge, focusing on driving through your heels, squeezing your glutes at the top, and then one banded abduction. Okay, so that's driving your knees out as wide as you can. Now I'm going to do two glute bridges and two banded abductions. And we're building up by one rep every time, so now I'll do three, squeezing my glutes at the top, keeping those hips up and those abductions. Now moving on to four, all the way up to 20. Okay, so now that glutes are fired up and engaged, they are ready, now we're gonna go into the actual lifting portion of the exercise. So I'm gonna be super setting. Um, my favorite thing to do for glutes is high volume. So that is a lot of reps, a lot of supersets and drop sets, um, just to really get them, them burned out. That's where I get the most amount of engagement. Sometimes I do have heavy days where I won't do as many reps and I'll focus on going really heavy, but a majority of my glute training is very, very high volume, lots of reps. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do um, barbell bridge, uh, hip thrust off of the bench. Um, this is going to get me the most amount of tension in my glutes. I get way more tension than I do just off of the ground. And then I'm going to superset it with banded abductions, just like I did in the warm up. But I'm going to show you different variations of those. Okay. Okay, so for each set, ah, ah, for each set, we're gonna do a different variation of an abduction. So the first one, I'm gonna be pushing forward, and then each set, I'm gonna slowly scoot back just to get my glutes engaged differently. Okay, so feet are together, push forward, and drive out. All right, so on round two, we're doing 20 reps with the barbell, um, or at least until you burn out and can no longer get a full extension. And then we're doing 30 reps with the banded abduction.
So now I'm gonna do the banded abductions sitting straight up, not leaning forward. Last one. All right, last one. This one will be same reps on the barbell, just leaning back on the banded abductions. Now I'm gonna do these final ones, leaning back. Woo. Okay. Ah. They're on fire. Okay, okay. So for the bridges, um, it's very important that your neck stays neutral. I always tell my girls, if you don't have a double chin, you're doing it wrong. Okay, so when I was down on the bench, elbows are off, shoulder blades are all that's on, and your chin stays tucked in as you drive up. Common thing done wrong is this here, and as you dip down, it's putting a lot of stress on the neck. So you wanna keep your head up, neutral chin is tucked, as you drive up, okay? Super important on those, okay? And then also making sure that you're not going too heavy, that you can't get that full rep. That's another thing that's done commonly wrong is that girls will try to go too heavy and they're only coming to about here when the most important part of the glute bridge is to drive all the way up and is to get that squeeze. The squeeze is everything to help fire up the glutes, not the weight, okay? So make sure that you have the appropriate weight that you can drive up and get that squeeze, like mine are just like, ha, ah, at the top. <laughs> it's like burning. And then the reason I do it with the band is it actually helps keep your glutes engaged more as when we have the tension in the band, it's automatically getting my glutes to engage. So um, that is one of the best ways to do it. All right, so first one we're gonna do is deficit lunges. So it's basically like a small step up and a lunge all in one. Okay, so we're gonna hold the dumbbell goblet style. Start with both feet on the plate. Step back, drive that lunge, come back up. Focus on driving through the heel. And now, so I did those on my right leg. I'm gonna superset that with high step ups on my right leg. So having it at such an incline is what helps to get it to be super glute dominant. It's because the glute is having to engage because the quad is out of the equation. So driving up, glute's gonna go first and fire up. So now that I did that, I'm gonna go back to my left side, do my left side lunges, and then my left side step ups.
for this. <sighs> All right, so for this one, it's gonna be single leg exercises. Um, this is great for if you have leg imbalances. Um, I had a way bigger right leg for a long time. That's because I did no single leg exercises. Um, so this is a great one if you have one glute that's bigger than the other or you just feel like your other leg is uh, much stronger, add in more single exercises. So we're gonna do a triple exercise. So we're doing three exercises in a row, all on the same leg, okay? First one we're doing is single leg glute bridge. Again, chin stays tucked, elbows off, down, dive up. RDLs. Last one that we are doing in the triple is jumping Bulgarians. So nice wide base. Come up. Woo! And that's the triple. Now we'll do all that on the other leg. all of those um, as quickly as possible so your transitions in between the three need to be quick okay so going right from bridges right into RDLs from RDLs right into as quickly as possible the Bulgarian jumps just because you want that burnout sensation so like for me it wasn't very high rep um, it's like 10 to 12 of each uh, and I'm already like dying so I would do two more sets on each leg for three sets total. Give that one a try. All right, so for the burnout today, which um, I am dreading, is 100 barbell hip thrusts for time. So um, the recommended weight is 135, um, but you can uh, make it a smaller weight if needed. So for, um, you know, for some females, I have them start out at 95, which is a 25 on each side or you can even start um, at 65 pounds if needed. So um, kind of just feel it out, see where you're at with the glute bridges, but 135 is a toughie for 100 reps. After 50, my glutes are pretty gnarly, so this will be an interesting one. 
So I don't remember what I got last time. I think it was like seven-ish minutes. And I feel like I was stronger then, but... Oh, and you have to wear it with a band. So we're gonna give it a try and see what I get today. I'm gonna try not to be mad if I get it back. <laughs> so for this, it's, I mean, it can, it's literally as much rest as you need. You can do 10 reps at a time. You can power through five, 25, whatever it is. It's just your time. So um, I'm gonna try to get 20 and then it'll probably turn into sets of 10. Um, but. Yeah, and it's just gonna see however long it takes me is that's how long it takes me. So this is a great one. This is always a good tester to see where you're at. And it's just a, a really gnarly burnout for sure. So here we go. Got heavy real quick. Ugh. At 10, I was like, oh wow, I'm strong. And then at 15, I was humbled. All right. Woo! Most important part is you have to get all the way up. It's very tempting to do halfsy reps because you're just dying, but stay, stay honest with your reps. than a glute pump. Yeah. Only 90 seconds in. Doing good. Here we go. Ten more. too long or go too slow. Oh, here we go. Here's for 50. Take this.
Come on. Ten more. I'm like slipping. I'm so sweaty. Like when I do barbell back squat, I have to do a lot of banded glute activation to get them fired up and engaged, or I won't feel them at all on my squats. Man, my glutes are fire. So, um, that could be a reason. Another one is what works for one person on glutes might not work at all for another. So for me, I do a lot of stuff like elevated. So elevating my heels, I've noticed, helps me engage my glutes on everything. Um, like even on like the single leg ones that I did. I'm gonna move up to the bench. My glutes are killing me. The single leg ones I did on the bench, um, I noticed that I had my foot propped up on a dumbbell. That's because when I have it on the ground, I don't get as much tension up in my glutes. But I noticed when I elevate it like what, like four inches, five inches off the ground, way more glute activation. So you have to like basically find what works for you um, or just m modify things. Try elevating, try not elevating, try, um, you know, doing single leg exercises from the ground, foot up on the bench, whatever it is. And that's just gonna get you the most bang for your buck. So, um, yeah, for, uh, be on the lookout for more uh, glute stuff, glute activation exercises. I know um, a lot of you have requested that, so I promise 
I am coming out with something for you guys. And uh, yeah, stay gnarly guys.